somebody because, you know what I'm saying, he been shot like nine times or he been to jail, you know what I'm saying? But if you think about it, like, he didn't get shot nine times for you. He wouldn't go to jail for you. I know somebody who did something for you. For you. He went to the garden of Gethsemane, knowing that he would be arrested by the enemies. And still he decided to stay. Told Peter, John, and James, y'all stay away. I'ma go pray. So he went up a little farther. Lay face down and start praying to the Father. And so distressed he was. His sweat fell down like drops of blood. He said, Father, I don't want to die. Yet I want to do your will, not mine. I mean, I do whatever you say. But is it possible we can do this another way? I'm yours. I give you my last breath. Do I have to die this old horrible death? Well, if they have to kill your son, then Father, your will be done for you. He went back and what did he pick? It was John, James, and Pete sleep. He said, you couldn't stay up for one hour, dude. Y'all gonna mess around and temptation overpower you. Listen, get back in position. Y'all stay prayed up and most of all stay up. He went back and prayed some more and he came back and all three of them were snoring. Still sleeping, huh? Still resting. Well, Judas and them is here for the arresting. As they got up, they sure could see the lynch mob coming with all the religious leaders. It was thugs with sticks and clubs and torches and swords. All of this for the Lord. And they was angry and talking real loud. And one man stepped from the crowd and he said, Teacher, good to see ya. I've been looking for you all night trying to reach ya. I'm telling you, you've been missed. And allow me to give you this. And Jesus said you was coming and I knew it to betray me. But must you use a kiss to do it? Be gone. Let's get it on. I'm ready to receive my throne. But Peter said, not while I'm here, dog. And he pulled out a sword and slashed some dude's ear off. But Jesus said, no, that's not why I'm here. So he gave the dude back his ear and said, here, here. I can have a thousand angels to save us and have all these scoundrels strangled. You've been with me. You know that it's true. But I've got work to do for you. He went to the house of the priest where they was trying to pull people off of the streets for lying and testifying so they would have a reason to try him and crucify him. They said, are you the Messiah? He said, I am. And they all said, they took off their robes and they said, and they tore their clothes. They spit in his face and his hair and they beat him to the ground and they knew it wasn't fair to put a blindfold over his eyes and they said, it's the prophet who hit you this time.